Hey guys, Katie Roberts with the 97 Way Home Group EXP Realty in Kelowna. Um, obviously showings with everything going on right now are few and far between, but as the government has decided we are an essential service and sometimes it's unavoidable. Uh, so in order to be a little bit more cautious, let's say, uh, with showings when we do need to show, uh, we've, I've created a couple of Google Forms, um, one version for um, if you're taking buyers out and one version if you have a listing that is still getting showings. Um, so basically it's just a really simple little document. Uh, this one is <clears throat> if you're working with buyer, oh no, sorry, this one is for buyers. So you can send this Google Doc to buyers, they go click, 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 fill it out and then you have basically something saying that they know they're not sick or haven't been in contact with people knowingly that are. Um, so, I mean, you can do this form however you want and I can send kind of the base form that we worked off of, um, or I can send you this as well and then you can just make a copy of it and brand it with your own uh, branding. But if you wanna make one of your own, it's super simple. Um, I have never used Google Forms before Took me about five minutes to figure out. So you're gonna to go to Google Drive, new, more, Google Forms. Um, I'm just gonna kind of blow through this one and do a quick little test. This isn't the actual form we use, but like I said, if you want me to send it, send me an email or a text. Um, so fill in your title, little description. And then from there, if you want to add any kind of branding, you can add video or images. Um, uh, Google will also figure out what you're trying to put in and find the best format to use. So I type in date, pulls up the date. If you don't like what it's used, you can use this drop down and change it. Uh, if you want to add something new, you just go add name and then it goes, oh, name, probably want a short answer. Um, you can do required fields. I don't find them that useful and sometimes they're a little bit glitchy. So, um, are you sick? Have you traveled? Again, not what I'm using, but uh, symptoms. Spelling is tough. <laughs> You've been in contact with so on and so forth. You get the picture. Um, I use the check boxes. If you type in select all that apply, it'll automatically use check boxes. Um, and then let's say ours, you have client number one or buyer perspective, buyer number one, then this drop down menu if you want to do. Okay, so I need another client, you duplicate it, then you can click and drag, same thing with this. I don't wanna retype the whole checklist, so I duplicate, click and drag it below that client name. Awesome. <clears throat> then you can go up into responses and change your settings in this little, the three dots, um, and do it so that you get notifications. If that's checked, you're gonna get a notification when someone fills out a response. Um, so then from there, actually I'll show you on my actual form. That was the one I was just messing with. Da, da, da. Um, okay, so then from there you can send, type in the email. You can include the form in the email, but I tried it a few times and it was glitching and then they had to refill out the information again and none of it carried over. So I just don't, it's not a big step to, uh, to go in through the browser. Okay, so then I got the email, fill out form. Okay, then you click whatever is applicable. Bob, buyer, click, click, click. 
let's say you don't have a second buyer, awesome, don't need to fill it out, don't need to fill the third, submit. Okay, and then, should just take a second. You should receive an email. Come on to whatever your Google account is associated with. Okay, this is taking a minute, but it'll just give you a screen um, that allows you to go to your responses or you can go in through the document itself and just hit responses. And now I got the email. Um, so it'll give you a breakdown of all the responses you've got, or you can go by individual. That was person number one, that was person number two or three. Um, and then if for whatever reason you need, you can put these into a uh, spreadsheet or print them or download it as a C CSV, whatever you want to do with it. Um, so like I said, if you need help creating this document, I'm here to help. Just give me a call, text, or email, or I can send you one just to copy over. Um, you can personalize it. Here's the preview. Again, uh, you can personalize it with your logo, video, whatever you want to do. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this is a useful tool for everyone. And uh, happy to help if you have any questions. Have a good one. And stop recording.